they're cooking for peace in Ukraine and then suddenly comes a climate change of events. Something very strange is happening lately between Russia and Ukraine. And uh, people don't know what exactly is taking place. Is a retreat of Russian forces making people think that Russia is uh, giving up on its quote-unquote operation in Ukraine. And uh, there are those, for example, a Polish general that thinks that this is a ruse, a trick on behalf of uh, a trap, on behalf of Russia for the Ukrainians. And um, what's going on? All of a sudden, things are sweetened. Will this last or will it turn to ashes? First of all, I don't even know. These latest pictures of Putin don't, doesn't even look like Putin. I don't know who this guy is, but uh, it seems that there's a lot of doppelgangers, a lot of doubles of Putin floating around Russia and the world. Uh, but that's another issue. I don't want to go off on a tangent on that. So uh, will this last or will it turn to ashes? Suddenly they're cooking for a peace in Ukraine. The latest information states that the U.S. International is probably following orders in the background, told the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky to tone down and open the door to negotiations with Russia. Well, why should they do that when today we were told by Russian officials that Russia is leaving its bases and retreating to Crimea? Uh, Crimea is in a uh, situation where Russia may even lose Crimea, the way things are going. So why should Ukraine go into peace talks with Russia when Ukraine is winning? So Russia is on the same wavelength with the representation of Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Maria Zakharova, stating that she's ready for negotiations as long as Russia is given the areas it owns and where Russians live once the borders are defined, the settlement of which is still open. Suddenly the Europeans are also pressing for peace as the energy problems have increased, not long ago, of course, they said, get Putin away and let's all go the way of victory. In other words, they wanted to get rid of Putin. Characteristic is a video with the French Minister of Economy, Bruno Le Mar, who says, I think it's time for us Europeans to tell our American friends that we are, we are very worried about inflation and the deindustrialization of Europe. Of course, Europe is quickly going down a drain of a bottomless pit and uh, there's no way that Europe and the European people are going to survive this without jobs, without production, without food, without fertilizer, without jobs, without energy, cheap energy. There's no way uh, Europe could survive. Uh, Europe will be going back into the dark ages. Now going back to this, it's clear that an order has been given from the background to find a solution to advance a kind of understanding co-government of old tradition, Russia and Russia and allies, and you, the internationalist Western world and allies, things. It remains to be seen if the situation will actually be brought there, that is, if things will be given to both sides so that an agreement can be signed or if there will be another escalation. In politics, everything matters and there's always this unpredictable factor which both of them now uh, know and fear. Again, we see we have various uh, conflicting re reports. Why, again, what's the logic of Ukraine going into a peace uh, with Russia when it appears that Ukraine is winning? Please give me your comments and thank you for your support. This is translated for you from a Greek article. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.